what we're showing today is a demonstration of doing the flushing of the ion exchange resin beds. And what you're seeing here in this bucket is pure methanol. There's a pro there was approximately six gallons in here, and this is our metering pumps that we sell. The metering pump is pumping out at about six to nine gallons per hour, and what you're looking at now here is the bottom of the cone, and it's a discharge. And it's pumping into the top, it's coming out the bottom. This is the beginning of a resin clean out. That's the first bed volume. And that's what it looks like. Very grimy. As you can see, when we first did this on our first flush, it was dark chocolate. And now you can already see through the braided hose it's starting to lighten up. So now we're at the exhaust end of the line. You can see the flush fluid coming out. It's no longer a dark chocolate. It's more like a syrup now. And this is the, we're just at the beginning of the second bed volume. So there you can see it's almost not even a syrup color now. It's almost back to a honey color. And uh, we're pumping at about uh, six gallons per hour right now through this uh, ion exchange resin bed. We'll show you what it looks like on the fourth bed volume. Here we are, this is the fourth bed volume. Going through, we're showing the same thing again as we did before. You can see that it's getting clearer and clearer, perhaps. It may not be absolutely clear, but if you'll see better when we get up to the tote. Um, in a second, you'll see more come out in a second as it continues to pump. And you can see now it's almost clear. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to check to see if um, the methanol has flushed out all the residual um, soaps. And um, we'll, get a, we'll get a chance to look at the met if the glycerin uh, settles out. All right, we're going to take a sample of this and we'll show you the results for soap and for methanol purity. As you can see right now, I have a graduated cylinder right here in the top of this tote, and I'm filling it with the uh, flush methanol that's coming directly out of stop right there. Okay, and I've got well over 100 milliliters in the uh, graduated cylinder now. So I'm going to just set this up for you so you can see what it's like when we get exactly 100 milliliters in there. As you can see now, the bottom of the meniscus, the actual full portion of the methanol is sitting right on the 100 milliliter line. And to test it, we'll take the alcoholometer, which is designed specifically for reading your percent of methanol. And if it were contaminated with water, the water would be denser and uh, you would see this float more readily. If it floats more readily, you have less percentage of alcohol. So as I turn this now to you, you'll see that it's right at, just maybe even above the 100 milliliter mark. So that would tell me that the methanol is fairly pure. There may be a little bit of bio, uh, biodiesel and maybe just uh, some color bodies from the resin still in the methanol. We've now done five full bed volumes of methanol flush on the Macropore resin bed. And you can see here, we're going to run it in this 250 milliliter beaker and you'll get a chance to look at how clear it is. And there it is. And that's about as good as it's going to get. And you'll drain the methanol and dry the, the beads out and uh, move on to uh, processing again just like you did before.
Okay, now we're in the Arbor Biofuels lab, and I'm going to show you what we're going to use for this next soap test is we have a bottle of bromophenol blue, we have a bottle of hydrochloric acid that's at 0 .01 normality, we have alcohol that's 99% pure isopropyl alcohol, and then we have the pump that we're going to use for the dispenser, and they're right here already hooked up. We have two pipettes set up, both of them are 10 milliliter pipettes. And over here, we have placed already 100 milliliters of al isopropyl alcohol in a beaker, and we're going to turn it on. We're going to get the, I have it on a magnetic stirrer. We're going to get it blending here at just about the right rate. And we're going to add the bromophenol blue. We have a nice little dispenser here. It puts it out a few drops at a time. We like to color it to our own liking. So we just keep adding it to it until we get a nice dark blue. So I'll just keep adding a few drops here. Okay, I like it about that dark right there. That way when the color turns there's no doubt about it. Okay, now if you look to your right here, you'll see that we still have that uh, methanol that we just took out of the flush from the ion exchange column. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a sample of that right now. We're going to take 10 milliliters. As you can see, I'm using the thumb wheel on the dispenser to bring up exactly 10 milliliters. And right there, as you can see, I have just a little more than 10. So I'll, there it is, exactly 10. So I keep it close to the alcohol, just drop over, and there's a little release handle. I just take and push the release handle in, and it drops the sample. So right now, we have the 100 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. Uh, the phenyl blue, the bromophenyl blue is in there, and also, um, we've added the 10 milliliters of the last flushing, the last, the fifth flush, we added uh, 10 milliliters of the last flushing um, methanol. So now we're going to titrate it to see if there's any soap at all that was still coming out of the column. So when I do that, I'm taking the acid up, and I shouldn't really need very much. I'm just going to take it up to the two, pull it out, shake off that last little drop there and now I'll start titrating to see how long it takes it to turn. And as you can see, it's changing right away. I've put only a few drops in, and we're looking at a close-up now of the burette. And it, it took only a few drops to change, so there's virtually no soaps in there. Maybe. Uh, it took, before we saw a change, maybe it took two-tenths of a milliliter. So we'd multiply that by 300 parts per million and you'd get your soap content. Stop.